Whoa, buddy, Square Enix. Between the two of them, they used to be the kings of RPGs. But I gotta say, although they still have some wins, they showed off their trailer for Symbiogenesis, which is their attempt to go into the NFT blockchain world. And not only does that make the majority of us cringe immediately, but this trailer is so trash. We're going to talk about one of the most controversial topics in the gaming industry today. That's right, we're going to talk about Square Enix and the recent controversies surrounding their games. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and let's dive in. Now, Square Enix has been one of the most iconic game developers through the history of video games, from Final Fantasy to Dragon Quest to Chrono Trigger. I mean, they once embodied the very industry and hands down decided console wars of the past. But in recent years, they've been struggling to keep up with the competition. Now, Yoshi P has led them to make the number one MMORPG on the market with Final Fantasy XIV, so it's not all doom and gloom. And they recently released the amazing Octopath Traveler 2, but they also just recently released Forspoken. But now, this new trailer for Symbiogenesis really just cracks open the toilet and lets it rip like the aftermath of a 90-day burrito binge. One of the most significant issues that gamers have with Square Enix lately is their recent foray and talk and chatter into blockchain gaming, which is one of the most aggravating and least wanted features gamers are really looking for. The trailer for their new game Symbiogenesis was released recently and it is sparking outrage among gamers the game uses blockchain technology to create NFTs or non-fungible tokens, which are unique digital assets that can be bought and sold using cryptocurrency. While this might sound like an innovative concept, gamers don't want a blockchain NFT game. They want games that are fun, engaging, unique, and a game that they can enjoy for long extended periods of time. Regardless of whether or not they understand blockchain technology, it's just not something they want. They don't want to feel like they're being pressured into buying and spending money. They just want to play the freaking game and they want to have fun. We're going to get into how absolute garbage crap some of these character designs are too. Why can't I see this guy's hair growing out of his hat? I mean, what? <laughs> Did anyone even look at this? Did ChatGPT create this entire project? What is going on at the multi-billion dollar company of Square Enix? When did they lose their minds and decide to just start churning out trash, shoveling it out like coal to keep the flames of suckage burning bright? Was it when Final Fantasy XIII hit? Was that the defining moment that Square decided to just go ham and release shovelware? There have been some amazing games released by Square Enix, and I understand that not every single game can be a blockbuster blow your mind release, nor do I expect it. But this symbiogenesis is really just taking the cake and it makes me sick to my stomach to imagine that we live in a time and a place where the once mighty square is now crumbling before our eyes in the space of releasing decent quality titles. Of course, I still believe Final Fantasy 16 is going to be amazing, but that's because of Yoshi P. If it weren't for his involvement, I would certainly be concerned. Let's take a look at what Square Enix has been up to lately. For example, Balan Wonderworld, an utter flop overall. Even with key designers from Sonic the Hedgehog, this bore of a title tried to pull off a one-button video game, and wow, color me surprised, it becomes too uninspiring to even want to continue playing it. It's reviewed awful and sold pretty bad as well. Also recently, they released the Pixel Remasters of the classic Final Fantasy games from the NES and Super Nintendo ages, back when Square was just at the top of their game, and they were pretty freaking awesome. But you can't just do something cool, can you, Square? You gotta screw it up somehow. So we all know, and I think we should be able to all agree that Final Fantasies are their console games, okay? And they were only released for PC. And finally, we start hearing the news of them coming to consoles. But guess what? They're in limited supply where you have to basically play a lottery game to maybe get a copy. 
and pay overpriced for it as well. Do you not like just making money, Square? This has been a disaster for the brand and has me just ignoring the possibility of playing these remasters on a console like I would like to at all. I just don't care. And to be honest, I thought Kingdom Hearts 3 was not that great. It didn't impress me. I couldn't even finish it. Didn't think it was that great. Square Enix's recent releases have just not been up to the mark overall. Forspoken was marred by technical issues, bugs, and glitches, and beyond that, it was just such a safe game with nothing special. It was all just very, nah. Gamers were left frustrated and disappointed by the game's poor performance despite the hype surrounding it. And let's not forget those epic, ridiculous requirements PC players needed to play this not very impressive game. To be fair, they have some games down the pipeline that look promising. Final Fantasy 16, as I mentioned before, Dragon Quest 3, HD 2D Remake, Dragon Quest 12, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. But man, we have to wade through an actual dumpster of releases between the good ones. And it's just not a good look for Square Enix, in my opinion. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to the members of Napalm. They have strapped on their armor and are casting the spells of awesome by supporting this channel and keeping me full time every month. Thank you so very much. And I think you are interested in becoming a member. You can do so by clicking join down below this video and pick a level that is right for you. And I would like to give a very special thank you to the Lords of Napalm, Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Dynlos, Farthest Reach, Sparrow, Christopher Hensel, Random Rob, Zelic Lind, Rotten Yo Mom, Vander, Gallerang Moonsong, What's the Takeaway, Trips, Daniel Cordwell. Thank you for your highest tier membership. The fact that Symbiogenesis is so blatantly the opposite of what gamers are asking for just shows me there is such a major disconnect between Square Enix and the gamer landscape, and it's just very disappointing. So when did Square Enix lose their minds? Are we too far down the rabbit hole of stink to return? Why are they deciding to focus on blockchain gaming instead of creating games that people actually want to play? Will we ever see the mighty Square Enix return to form and go back to paving the way for the future of video games? Can Yoshi P save the entire Square brand himself? In conclusion, Square Enix has been a beloved game developer for years, and they made some of my favorite games of all time, but they're starting to lose their touch. Their recent foray into blockchain gaming and their lackluster game releases have left gamers feeling frustrated and disappointed. It remains to be seen whether Square Enix can regain the trust of their loyal fan base, but for now, it's clear that they have a lot of work to do. Please like the video and subscribe for more content, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. I read every single comment, would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and until next time, my friends, God bless, and happy gaming.